Kimmy, hey, Kimmy Rassavet, you got your push-up bra on today. Yeah, I have. Oh, jeez. I should have wore it earlier. It must be someone special in Griffith, because old Rusty never gets that. I told Kimmy to lay down in one of them. She lay down and she fucking disappeared. I was gone. All I had to do was shovel the fucking dirt on top, and no one would ever have found her again. Yeah. I'm amused! Because old Rusty gets a shot of when he sees that news. Because of what the prize is, is it's going to break me fucking $500 GoPro. Yeah. How much they are? I just hope. You didn't tell me that's how much they were. How much were eyebrows? <laughs> shut up. And we get no value out of that, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. We get <laughs> Yeah, shut up now. In the guys, eh? Shut up, shut up. Just be up here if you need me. Yeah, well, with all the lads. Yep. You reckon they want a grandma? Yes. Oh, do they? I'm a cool grandma. Oh, OK. So we're on the side of the road, about 100 k's out of Dubbo. If anyone watched the videos yesterday, they'd know Kim broke her bike again. We pulled up in bars. Get rid of that. We put the kids. Fucking sit down and behave yourself. Sit down. Yeah. You're naughty. You're, because, because I'm showing them how much of a naughty little girl you are when I start filming around the room. I don't know, it's going to be awfully wet though. We'll have to show them the shops. You look like a damn cold <laughs> neck moth like that. You're always breaking when we're in the mainland, don't you? No. Yes, did you break it? No. Where is it then? It's in the bike shop getting washed oh. and detailed. So it's a 1965 BSA Lightning Clubman. And these are one of the rarer ones, are they? They only made 200. Are you with me, babe? I am. We've, um, just woken the motel complex, haven't we? Yeah, we woke Start up. our bikes up undercover. If they weren't awake, they are now. Yep. So, we're about to leave Mildura. First up, we're going to the Harley. Oh, well, no, we're going to get petrol first. And then we are going to go to the Harley place, are we not, babe? Yeah. Right up this shot. <laughs> Where are you? Fish gums. Found woolies. Yeah, well, straight, well they go straight oh, ahead, yeah. go around a couple of bends, can you? <laughs> Kim got caught at a traffic light. Fish gums. She's rock and rolling in here. I bet she panicked for a couple of minutes. No, I knew where I was going. I see you go around that roundabout. <laughs> uh, I could have gone to the next street in that entrance. That one there. Okay guys, so we never showed you, or we walked around Mildura, but when we were riding in yesterday, we never showed you, did we both? No. So, you will see a little bit of it on our way out here now. We're going to go down to Quick Fix Harley. Just have a look, hopefully we don't need nothing fixing. <laughs> and if it is, it'd probably be quick, wouldn't it both? Fix, yeah. Yeah, Quick Fix. Right there to the left was the main street and we live straight ahead up over there on the right. And I had to make my way by myself all the way. Yeah, there all the way from there. all the way from over there to the um servo. Yeah, that was brave. Brave as, eh? Yeah. Nice little town this one, isn't it? Well it's actually a big town really. Big town in the middle of nowhere. There's a lot of things to do here too. Yeah, there is if you want to do them. We didn't do a real lot. We're only using it as a stepping stone, somewhere to lay the head for the night. 
this park here, that's the one we walked down to yesterday, but we walked down through the uh, main street, that's all. Not down through this street. It's the park there in the Murray River, just over the back there. We're here at Quick Fix Harley and they have got the El Dalab at Diablo outside, babe. Be able to film that Look at beauty. It. Ooh, very nice indeed. Oh, first they'll let me ride it. Oh, you can't even touch fucking ground on it, babe. Ride it and I'll get on it. We're allowed to park right. here. Oh, fuck them. That is pretty. Look at that. I'll just go for a walk around while I've got the camera on. That's one of the new limited edition Diablos. You want to take a couple pictures of that, babe? So we pulled up here and out the front was an El Diablo. One of the limited edition Harleys that they've made. Absolutely stunning bikes they are. Looks like another one in the shop, is it? I don't know. It's a no. different colour red, that one. Oh, someone's been out riding it. It's got bugs on it everywhere. See? Go for I might ride. be able to go for a ride. I don't reckon she's a demo one, sweetie. We're going to be in New South Wales now. We will be in a minute, yes. So we're going across the Murray River and we're leaving Mildura, aren't we, sweetie? We are. Welcome to New South Wales, babe. We weren't allowed here for a while, have we? That's it. It's been yeah. a long time. A long we weren't time. allowed here last year, anyway. So here we are, coming up through Gold Gold, and Kim reckons she can see the ocean over to the left there. Fucking hell, I'll tell you what. She's looking towards Alice Springs Northern Territory there. <laughs> there is no ocean, babe, to the left. To the right, right. we got the Murray. We are okay. inland in Victoria. Well, actually, we're in New South Wales now. Must have been the sky I was looking at. Must have been. Looks like ocean. You actually get up the hill and have a look over there. Oh, okay, I'll see the ocean. See if you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I'm fit for riding, if that's the case. Yeah, I'm pretty damn sure I won't see the ocean. <laughs> There's the beautiful Murray. Fairly high, isn't she? She is flooding in parts, apparently. Uh, with all the rain that's coming, she'll be flooding for sure. Uh, yeah, they want to prepare. Get their sandbags out. Yep. Yeah. And there is the Gold Gold Hotel. Quite a nice meal there we had there, didn't we? Yeah. That's Very right. nice indeed. The, um, the paddle steamer can drop you off there and takes you back. Very nice. Yeah, you were there and you, she goes... Oh, what table are you at? And you go, see that fat lady sitting out there? <laughs> oh, I, couldn't remember. I couldn't remember what bloody tables are. I just said, see that fat girl sitting there? That's her. Yeah. <laughs> that's, that's the missus. And the woman said, oh, you're in trouble. I said, yes. no, she didn't hear me. <laughs> <laughs> but you told me what you said. Yeah, I did, yeah. I'll come clean. Yeah. Hey then, guys, we're going to motor on. Oh, no, still 60. I thought we were about to motor on. Nah. Hey guys, we'll catch you down the road anyway. All the fruit trees have got all the fruit on them, haven't they? All the oranges and mandarins, they're oranges then. See, if you went and picked some off the ground... Look at that kangaroo them. there. Right there. Ooh, yep. Oh yeah, nah. Don't sound so excited about that because he's looking to come out on the fucking road, yeah, he was. <laughs> stay there and eat his fucking oranges. Yeah. He was a fair size one though. Oh yeah. He didn't have balls though. Oh, well, well you were looking that closely. I said the male or female. Male one's bigger. Oh, so you were looking for his balls? Yeah. For crying out loud. <laughs> Oops. Are yeah. you filming? Yes, I am filming. <laughs> sorry, I'm not. I'm trying filming. to show people the beautiful countryside, not kangaroo balls. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm not a pervert of kangaroo well, balls. Well, I don't know about that. It was a beautiful countryside, guys, until she started talking. I oh, know. It went to trash. <laughs> right, this is the little town of Euston, which we're not going into. You've got to turn off down here a little bit into Euston, don't you? Yep. I reckon it is very nice on the Murray River down here, they reckon. A hell of a lot of vineyards here at Euston, isn't there? Yeah, there's heaps. Yeah, they're everywhere. Yep. They've certainly increased in the years we've been coming here. It's certainly increased. They go all the way up over the back over there to the left. All the way over to the 
the bush over there to the right. Okay guys, we are in Barrenmold. Ridiculous how you say it. Well look, we've got a number of ways of saying it, haven't we? Bell Reynold. Bell we say. Barrenmold. So anyway, it's in New South Wales guys. And um, as you've heard us say before, this is the Bermuda Triangle for Kim. <laughs> because her sporty broke down here about ooh, how long you had that bike for? Five years? Would have been six years, yeah, six years ago. When you had the sporty. Yep. He got yep. his right indicator on and he's going in there, this road. Oh, you fucking that's idiot. Weird. Yeah. Alright, so this is the heart of um Baranol. Well, just about the heart, isn't it, babe? Bow Reynold is located on the western edge of the vast hay plain and a place once used to ford the Murrumbidgee River. Today it is a service centre for the surrounding irrigation district. It is a quiet town notable for access to Lake Mungo and the newly established Yanga National Park. It is a popular place for anglers who can fish in one of the five rivers all within 30 minutes of the town. Barren old guys, lunch there. Next stop, a top up at Hay, then on to Griffith. A couple of hours away. What's that, Griffith? Uh, probably two and a half. Yeah, maybe a bit more. We get there about half past two ish, maybe? Nah, be after three when we get there, be closer to 3 30. Um, and for the first time, we cross the Murrumbidgee River, don't we? No doubt, we'll cross that a few more times. Oh, the old Murrumbidgee's got a bit in it, look at her. Wow. Was, I've never actually seen that that high through there before. Oh yes, it's all flooded up through there. Yeah. Look at it. I've never seen it with that much water. Yeah. Beautiful. It's wider. Wider yeah. than Oh, look, all through there too. Normally you camp in there. Yeah, that's a road. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Road, road, said road closed. Yeah, look, she's all flooded through there everywhere. Mm. All the years we've been down through there, we've seen campers in there over on the right. Yeah, yeah, I remember. It's it, fairly high up to the bridge now. That's a fairly yeah. high bridge, isn't it? Yeah, it's all flooded all the way through there, sweetie. Yep. Okay, guys, so this is the sort of scenery, and less than this, is what we're going to get all the way now from um, Baron Old to uh, Griffith, isn't it, babe? Yes. Yes. Apart from when we get the hay, of course, it's a bit of a build-up area. <laughs> but um, yeah, but after hay, there's even more small shrubbery in it. So I will we'll just sit back and enjoy the ride. I think. Yeah, unless something exciting happens, like Russ kills another bird. Yeah, no, I've got another one day. There's two in a row now. Two days, two birds. Pretty good, eh? Good average, that. Eh? <laughs> she is a lot of nothing out here, isn't there? Yeah, she's just, I don't know, vast. Very vast. Pretty opens up your eyes. The plain itself is an ancient lake bed, scored by the Murrumbidgee and Lachlan rivers. The township of Hay sits in the centre of the plain, with Baranold to the west, Narandra to the east, the Niloquin to the south and Bulagai to the north. The Sturt Highway traverses the plain and for many people it's a stretch of emptiness. The road appears as one long asphalt line for drivers seeking destination often hundreds of kilometres away. Some can't wait to get to the other side, others love the sense of isolation, but us, we just love it. The view is spectacular, although not much here. It is truly amazing. Up to Hay. Hay? Hay, yes, Hay. Uh, we're just going to fuel up here. But we're going to put some fuel here just in case we can't quite make it through to Griffith. So we'll just top them up here at this end pole. We're not going to go into Hay Township itself. Uh, we might here. No, because the boss said we don't need to. Why do you need to? No. Oh, okay. Well, what's that one? That's a crater. 
Just go back a little bit more. Just watch, it's all slippery there. Yeah, that's diesel. Yeah, I know. It's all diesel. Oh, the Bowser. Yeah, we're going to have to go around and come back through. Oh, there's a shell up the road. We're going to shell instead, guys. I lied. Fuck, I'm filthy amount of diesel on the ground back there, wasn't there, babe? We got unleaded. Premium 98, yeah. unleaded 95. Yeah. 98 or 95 will do us. There is a lot of bugs bugging us at the moment, in there, babe? Yeah. Okay. I won't tell you what else has been bugging me. <laughs> She'll be right. <laughs> don't worry about guys. She'll be right. <laughs> I don't bug her. She reckons I never annoy her. Okay, guys, we're just arriving in Griffith. We're at virtually at the back of our motel now. We will be in a minute. Have they got a vacancy sign now? We'll try it, will we, sweetie? They've right. got, they got vacancy sign now. What do you reckon? Yep. So we stayed in the Ocono Motor Lodge in Griffith, just down from the main street. And it has everything you need here. Griffith really is a little piece of Italy in the heart of the Riverina. It has still the extraordinary statistic that 60% of the city's population have Italian ancestors and celebrates Italian culture with extensive vineyards in the region. Provadors in the town sell on local produce and excellent cafes and restaurants where the pastas and coffee can be favoured and compared to the best in Sydney. Okay, so we've pulled up tonight in a grip. I've dumped Kimmy off, as you can see, you cannot see Kimmy. Uh, got everything? Yeah. Yeah. So we've pulled up. What time is it, babe? Um, 3.45. Yeah. <clears throat> We're a little bit later rocking up to town today, aren't we, babe? This is the main street here. And we're virtually up the top end of the main street. But don't worry, guys, we know where the grog is in this town. We know where everything is in this town. Fruit and veggies, that's where we're going. Where? The Indian and Islander grocer, fruit and veggies. We're having where fruit and veggies. I'm going this way because I know there's a BWS <laughs> this way, babe. It. Town. You see, that's Woolies and Kmart and everything there. So, uh, you happy with that? Happy. Happy with that. I will be when I get a stubby in my hand. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> We're a bit late today, guys. Normally we've got a stubby in our hands by now. No word of lie, if you watch our vlogs, normally we have, haven't we, babe? Yeah, it's yeah. true. So it's a bit rough on us at the moment. It's about the truest thing he said and on holidays. And is straight through there, so in the morning, oh, Kimmy, she'll go up there and get me a coffee, won't yeah, you? Yeah, I will. I'll ride up there and get you a coffee. Ride? Yeah. Why ride? That's too far to walk. Look it's, how far away it is. That's our motel there, guys. Look, I'll pee around, guys. Oh, duck. I say 100 metres, what do you reckon? I'd say 150. No, 100 metres. And she reads she's right. I like to know how she's getting the coffee back while she's riding back. See right? it in between my lap. Oh, Jesus. Things have been in before you her laps before you don't <laughs> want to know about it, I can tell you. <laughs> Put my hat on. We just went to a bottle shop and look. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. Empty handed. Empty handed, yeah. that was that's why is that, sad. Why, why is it we empty-handed? Because they're sold out of all what we drink. Yeah, so, like, we will drink anything. <laughs> <laughs> but we've got a bottle shop to go that's closer to our hotel anyway. And then if they don't have it, we'll drink anything. <laughs> yeah, we'll drink anything yeah. because we're not going, we're not going chasing it, are we? Sort no. Of, nah, nah. You don't chase it no more. We're too old for that sort of shit. Oh, it's got to come to us. Nice looking top, that one, Kimmy. Kimmy recipe. You got your push-up bra on today. Yeah, I have. Oh, jeez. I should have wore it earlier. There must be someone special in Griffith because old Rusty never gets that. Hey. Put all the girls up. Well, I'll just get saggy baggies. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> Pushes them in my face and they're sagging all over the place, aren't they, babe? Well, gets to the point if I've got to run and make a dash for it, <laughs> I end up with black eyes, so no. I've got to hold them in somehow. Oh, right. Fair enough. Yeah. Fair enough. Yes. That's a good call there. What are you getting, Rusty? Getting strongies. Strongies, okay. mate. Strongies. At least we're not going to die of thirst tonight. Hey, you might have seen a quick shot. Kimmy was showing you of the of the, of the bottle shop on a boat. Yep. We've got our strongies, haven't we? We've got Will a six-pack each. Mm -hmm. And you think, well, is that all they're having tonight? <laughs> You're a fool if you think that. 
because we'll be going to the pub in a minute, won't we, babe? Yep. This this just warms us up, don't it, sweetie? Yeah. Hey? Just to warm up. Yeah, before tea. And then we get stuck into it, don't we? G'day, 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 guys. We're back again, aren't we, tonight? I'm here, too. Yeah, she's here, too, yeah. <laughs> Haven't managed to get rid of her yet, I can tell you now. Oh, Russ, she's been trying, though. Very trying. You did try and lose me at um, Mildura. Yeah, we did this morning. I told her, come on, come through. Oh, no, there's a car coming. I said, do you know the way to the petrol station? Well, oh, Rusty was waiting for ages. I thought she must have got lost. Mm -hmm. You were surprised when I didn't get lost. When you didn't get lost? I was unhappy. <laughs> Why not? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, we come up from Mildura today through to Griffith for the night, haven't we? Mm -hmm. And we are in our motel room now, as you may have imagined. Bit of, well, it used to be an oasis over that time, so it still is an oasis over here. All the palm trees. So we had an eventful day, didn't we? Come across the hay plains. I, I've got to be serious now, guys. I've got to be serious. Whatever you do, be careful coming across the hay plains from Mildura through to Hay and on to Griffith. I said, because those fucking potholes, you'll lose, lose yourself in them. There are some major, major potholes there. I mean, we got off the bikes. I told Kimmy to lay down in one of them. She lay down and she fucking disappeared. I was gone. All I had to do was shovel the fucking dirt on top and no one would ever have found her again. Yeah, yeah. Well, is that not right, babe? That is right. Yeah, yeah. that's right. Yeah, that's huge. how big. Oh, I'm not exaggerating. That's how no, big that, the potholes are. They were actual craters. Yeah, they were. And so the locals at Ballaranald. They, uh, warned, Baronald. they warned us about them. Yes, they did, yes, when we left Baranold. But anyway, we got here. We don't, all the potholes are still there and we're, we're here, so that's a good thing. Got a bit of a She's got no tan, don't worry about it. Now, me and Kim, we play a little game on the road. We've done this for 10 or 12 years. Whoever sees an emu first, get something, don't they, babe, eh? <laughs> get something. The other yes. person has yes. to see. And guess what? It is something bloody good too, I can tell you. And I won't tell you what it is. I can't, I can't devalue, de, devalue, divulge? Divulge. Yeah, what it is. But it's something good, trust me, guys. And I'll ask you see the emu first. And you know the funny thing about it? The funny thing is, I see these two big emus. First one to see an emu, you see, on when we first get the mainland. So there's these two emus, big emus, they're standing in this paddock here, just over the fence. They're standing up broad as day. And I said to Kim, I said to Kim, look at them, they emus, they emus. Because old Rusty gets a shot of them when he sees them. So, because of what the prize is, you see. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> so anyway, she, she said, yeah. Then all of a sudden her tone changed. She, she said, what emus, where? <laughs> I didn't see no emus. Well, it was a bit late, wasn't it, mate? She seen the image, she said, yeah, and then she thought about it for a second, thought she lost, and she tried getting out of it. Was that not true? Did you say, what, where were they? On the left, right? Where were they? I didn't yeah, see I them. Did say was it that. two or three? Yeah, I did say that. Yeah, one. yeah, I'll rust you one, so. <laughs> <laughs> and so we, well, we did see kangaroos too. We did see, oh yeah, big kangaroo, we see, yeah. yeah I and we, no. oh, well, we seen a snake yesterday too, wasn't a big snake on the road? Yeah, on the way up to Mildura, we forgot to tell people that. Big snake. He killed some. Hey, two days running, two birds, bang, dead. Number one hit me today, hit me in the windscreen on the bike, hit, right there. Bang, bang, went back. Feathers flying out everywhere, wasn't there, mate? And I thought and I was going to run over it. And what happened? Did you run over it? No, it landed on his back. Just as well, because she wanted to take kill points for it, didn't she? <laughs> <laughs> I was going to take the credit. No, I, was, I was only joking, guys. I didn't mean to kill it. <laughs> I couldn't get it. It flew up. And oh, that's... Geez. So, two... No, it did not. <laughs> it's not the end of the holidays yet. But two days, two birds. Not bad, eh? Yeah, well, not that I'm proud of it. Of course, I'm not proud of it. Because I'm a bit worried. If one of them hits me in the chest, or in the helmet, or in the GoPro, it's going to break me fucking $500 GoPro. Yeah, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. How much they are. I just hope. You didn't if it... tell me that's how much they were. How much were eyebrows? <laughs> Shut up. And we get no value out of that, don't yeah, we? Yeah, we do. We get <laughs> yeah. Shut up now. In the guys, eh? Shut up. Shut up. Shut up now. Eh? We'll talk about the price of the eyebrows. But oh, 
the one thing is, if that bird hits us in the GoPro, I hope the GoPro's report, recording at the time. Oh, good footage. I'll get some good fucking yeah. views out of that one, I'll make. Yeah, yeah. I'll have to pull over and get you to throw a bird at me. <laughs> <laughs> Do that. Stage, <laughs> Yeah, stage. Wait right, a minute, guys. Hey, right, then. We so, are. We do not stage We do things. not stage things, do we, Denny Hayes? Yeah. No, Denny Hayes knows we don't stage things. No. Yes, he met us, he knows we're, 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 we're the, the real, real deal. deal. Yes, yeah. we're the real deal. Okay, I'll take in number 112, Econo Lodge Griffith. Yeah. Well, it's something like that. It's something like that. Show them the shitter, bro. Okay, babe, I'll show them the shitter. Right, look, I do like this smoke out room because it's got a nice big bank for all our shit. And look out. What's that fucking GPS doing on? Jesus Christ. Well, there's the helmets, there's the head, there's the bed. I was on Well, I really haven't worked out why that fucking iron board's out yet. Because there's one thing you know them, and that is iron. Not very often, was it? I ironed my sticker back on. Oh, Rusty's t-shirt's starting to fall apart. You still want one, Bert? <laughs> but anyway, so this is the room. Closet, and Kim's got to pack up. Where is your fucking iron? Over there. Okay. Yeah, right, well, this is the shitter. In here. Right there. Not a bad bug. Hey, Rusty, how you going, mate? You're rocking on with the old skull on, aren't you, Rusty? Big, big shower. I hopped in there with Kim. <laughs> I hopped in there with that shower. Eh? That's not the prize, though, is it, babe? The prize for old Rusty for spotting Emu. Apparently. You want to tell them what the prize is? Apparently, it's coming. <laughs> it literally <laughs> is coming, isn't it? <laughs> How do I do that? Okay, then. So, this is our bathroom. And see, I did tell you, Kim does not iron. See, look, she would not have a clue. Oh, that doesn't go like that, does it? Oh my god, I can see her losing another fucking finger ear. There you go, guys, she finally got it. She probably thought it was a surfboard. No, no, she probably did. Hey, right, we gotta go. We gotta, um, we've got into Griffith a bit late because it was about 430 odd K through to Griffith today. So, um. Oh, I don't know what's going on. She fucking wrecks everything. Everything, mate. Everything she fucking wrecks. We gotta go. So, we, like I said, we got in here a bit late today. What's the time now, babe? 4.43. 4.43, it's almost five o'clock in other people's languages. And um, we've got to go, we've already found a grog. Obviously you've seen, we've found our grog already. BWS, just over the road. And um, we've got to go and find some tea, don't we? Yep. There goes old Kimmy, look. She's walking back down there, she forgot her phone, look. She reckons she was all organised, and there she is. Walking Stop talking about me. the motel unit. Oh, Rusty, he's out the front raring to go. <laughs> there she is. Right there, see, that's her, that's her, right there. You all fixed, babe? Oh no, I can hear you talking about me. Well, I, you, I was going... down, you don't have to look down like that for. <laughs> you might try it there, you don't have to look down like that. Yeah, because I'm going... <laughs> Did you fix it? Did you fix it? Hey, hey, we're off this time, I think. I think we're off. Go fuck yourself, Rusty. Yeah, I think we're off this time. Are we ready this time? <laughs> Yeah. Yeah, okay. My watch told me, find my phone. <laughs> uh, got the key? No, I left it locked yeah. in the room. Uh, yeah. <laughs> Fair enough. You'll be sleeping under the bushes here tonight then. Yeah, I know. This is the ac activity here, the hive activity here. Well, I don't know about a hive, but that's the main street. That's where all the boys get to get what together. I yeah, all the, all the lads mm. in this car park of all, all the lads gather there, yeah. don't they, babe? That's all right, I'll just be up here if you need me. Yeah, well, with all the lads? Yep. You up reckon there. they want a grandma? Yes. Oh, do they? I'm a cool grandma. Oh, OK. Yeah. Fair enough. I didn't know that, but anyway, she's told me now. Well, that, that there is a club we could be going to, the Exes. Now, it depends. There's one down to the left a bit further, now, by the time we get here, if Kim's a bit tired, we'll probably end up there at the end. <laughs> yeah. Won't we, babe, eh? Yeah. <laughs> we won't even get to see that one up there. No, nah, that's right. <coughs> That'll be it for the night, I reckon, guys. No, so I think this plane's having a bit of trouble, isn't it, babe, eh? Can't fly. Yeah. Well, he's, he's landed on a stick, <laughs> hasn't he? Hey? Oops, it appears this yeah. way. Okay, so this is where we go. The League's Club in Griffith, in the Bay Bay. Yep. We haven't been to this one before, have we, babe? No, we haven't. So we'll see what it's like. 
We'll go in, we'll have a look at the menu, won't we? Yes. Probably have stubby here while we're here because we won't waste their time totally. No. And if we're not having a meal here, we'll just go back to the other one, won't we, babe? Yeah. 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 What do you reckon? Yep. Okay, so that's it right there. I don't think I can film in here, guys. So, what's the time now? It's 6.54. 5.54. Is it? So do we have tea first? Yep. So this is the Take Luke's your glasses cup, off. Guys. No, I'm incognito. <laughs> what are you waiting for, babe? Um, bruschetta, I think. Um, here at this table number 20. But where are we? At the... Yeah, but, oh, you've got to look, do you? Leagues Club. At the Leagues Club. Yeah, That's in it. Griffith. This is in the, what, the dining area. That's rusty. That's Kimmy. And it goes around and, and around. And it goes over there, don't it? Right, we have our bruschetta, don't we, babe? Yep. So, how many of them is yours and how many is mine? We'll get this sorted right now. One for me. Two for her, one for me, by no, sounds of that. I'm having one. Okay. And some green stuff. Do you like that green stuff? Mm -hmm. That'll send you off your head. No, it's not quite that same, same okay. green stuff. Okay. It's different. Okay, we'll get into it. You got your mains, have you, babe? What is it? Um, it is um, a scotch. Yes, scotch and veggies. Where's my chips? You haven't got chips. You got little baby potatoes, veggies. Didn't you get me chips? Well, no, you got them instead. You're supposed to have, but you've got them. I haven't got them. I wanted chips though. Oh bullshit! You wanted chips. You'll have little Did baby potatoes. Did you order potato. chips? Yes. Yeah, there's my scotch. Go for it. Stop recording. What's going on with this? Recording. What's going on with this? Open up the window. I'm breathing in the last of September. I can feel.